So I heard you wanted to become a software engineer. Let me start with a question. Is it for the money, work-life balance, or because you hate your current job? Take a second and write this down on a sticky note. Now stick this on your forehead. So this way you'll never forget your motivation. All jokes aside, I am a full-time iOS engineer and today, I'm going to share with you the three different ways that you can break into the industry. And I'll be sharing with you the timeline that each one takes. So first, we have school, which is either university or college. Second, we have boot camps. And lastly, we have self-taught. Make sure you watch the whole video because you don't want to miss the gems that I'll be sharing. So first off, we have school. In general, a degree program usually takes around four years. For me, I took this route and I studied computer science at the University of Waterloo. It actually took me five years to finish this program. This is because I was in co-op and I had to take six four-month internships, which was totally worth it. I'd recommend that you check out this video if you want to learn more about my programming journey. So I get asked this question a lot. What is the difference between a software engineering degree and a computer science degree? In general, both of these programs are very similar. We end up competing for the same jobs. The main difference with a software engineering degree is that you get an engineering title and you also get to show off this lovely ring that I stole from my friend. In terms of cost, I'd highly recommend computer science because it is slightly cheaper. Here's a quick summary of what I learned in school. In the first year, we covered the basics of programming, which is your variables, your loops, your recursion, your if statements, and etc. In my second year, we covered compilers, which is basically writing your own programming language. We also covered data structures and also object-oriented programming. In third year, we covered operating systems, algorithms, which is basically how to pass a technical interview. And finally, in the fourth year, it's more about specialization. So you get to pick the courses that you're interested in. So for me, I took networks, which is basically how the internet works. I also took security, where I learned how to build secure software. I also learned about artificial intelligence. And finally, I also learned about distributed systems, which is basically how different systems interact with each other. Aside from these courses, you're also required to take other math courses and some other courses just to fulfill the requirements for the degree. The good thing about school is that you're pressured to pass, and that means you're pressured to learn, which is either a good or bad thing depending on how you look at it, but it definitely pushed me to finish my assignments and learn the course material. So one key thing to know is that as a student, you're eligible to apply for internships. Many companies have a requirement where you must be pursuing a bachelor's or master's degree in engineering, computer science, or related field in order to apply. So if you're a student, make sure you apply for internships. You gain valuable experience and you also get paid. And that's how I got to graduate debt-free. In conclusion, a computer science degree will take roughly around four to five years or maybe even more depending on whether you're doing a master's or a PhD. So if you have time and the money, I definitely recommend doing a degree. You make a lot of friends and you also get to do internships. Next, we have boot camps. So with boot camps, the time may vary based on whether you do it full time or part time. If you do it full time, you may have to quit your full time job and it may take somewhere between three to four months depending on the boot camp. On the other hand, if you do it part time, it may take somewhere between six to 12 months depending on the boot camp. So the goal of a boot camp is to help someone land a job as quickly as possible. In order for a bootcamp to do this, it has to cut out a lot of material. So instead of focusing on topics like operating systems and compilers, a bootcamp will focus more on skills necessary for a student to get a job as soon as possible. As a result, many bootcamp students are lacking knowledge compared to someone who went to school. But that's not the end of the world, because as a software engineer, you'll be learning every day, and if you don't know something, you can just Google it or read a book to learn more about it. I have never done a bootcamp before, so I can't really say much about what they will teach. I have spoke with a few friends that have graduated from one. It appears that during the first few weeks, you will cover the basics, and then you will move on to building projects to build out your portfolio. If you decide to do a bootcamp, I would highly recommend that you do some research. Make sure that the bootcamp is legit, and make sure that you're able to contact an alumni from that bootcamp, so that way you can hear their experiences and also ask them any questions that you have. In conclusion, boot camps take roughly around 3 to 12 months to complete. Boot camps skip a lot of the fluff and they focus more on the skills necessary for the job. So if you don't have that much time and you want to get a job as soon as possible, I definitely recommend that you do a boot camp. Last but not least, we have self-taught. As a self-taught software engineer, there is no definite timeline because it is all up to you. 
Just a fun fact, everyone who learns how to program, they are actually all self-taught. The only difference with a self-taught software engineer is that you won't get any structure. You actually have to figure everything out yourself, as opposed to someone who went to a boot camp or a school. Luckily, there are a lot of free resources out there today. For example, you can learn a whole computer science introductory course from Harvard for free. Check out CS350, Introduction to Computer Science. You can also check out websites like Free Code Camp and Code Academy, where it provides great hands-on learning experiences. Anyways, aside from the free stuff, I'd like to share my own personal condensed roadmap of how you can become a software engineer with zero experience very quickly. First, I recommend that you learn the programming language, Python. I like this language because it reads just like English and the syntax is very simple, which makes it very efficient for interviews. You can check out this video by Free Code Camp, which covers everything you need to know about Python. Now I will provide a checklist of the items that I think are important to master. So we have variables, functions, conditional statements, loops, lists, dictionaries, objects, and interfaces. Once you have these mastered, I recommend that you start learning web development. So that way, you can start building projects for your portfolio. I recommend learning web development first because you get to do a bit of both front-end and back-end with only the need of learning one language, JavaScript. Here's the checklist for web development. HTML, CSS, JavaScript, build a simple landing page, learn Node.js for back-end, learn React as a front-end, and also learn how to use a database like Firebase or MongoDB, and learn how to build CRUD apps. After you have some projects under your belt, I'd recommend that you learn some of the most common data structures. Here is a quick checklist. We have lists, stacks, queues, linked lists, trees, graphs, tries, and hash tables. Check out this link if you want a quick summary about these data structures. While learning data structures, I'd recommend that you do some leak code problems so that way you can practice and also prepare for interviews. Once you feel comfortable, I'd recommend that you apply for jobs. When applying for jobs, don't get scared by the key qualifications. Just double check the key qualifications and make sure that you have most of them. If you're missing a couple, don't worry about it because in the end, you can learn most of it on the job. And also, don't worry if you bomb interviews. Each failed interview can be thought of as a lesson to help prepare you for the big job. In conclusion, being self-taught is free and it doesn't cost any money, but the time is indefinite. It all depends on you and how fast you can go through material and understand it. In the past, I was able to mentor people with zero coding experience and were able to learn all of the web development material within three months. So it is definitely possible to learn all of the material and practice for interviews and land a job within the first six to 12 months without going to a boot camp or school. Anyways, I threw a lot of gems here, and I wish you luck on your journey to becoming a software engineer. Thanks for watching this video. Please leave a like and a subscribe for more content. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Peace.